A warning this evening from local churches. Be careful who you're texting. A texting scam is reportedly spreading around the state line. Nikel Delgado spoke with a couple of Rockford pastors. Nikel, what would they have to say? Eric, Mimi, I found out that this is happening in multiple churches in the state line. Local pastors say that their biggest concern is someone would actually fall for the scam. It's just a sad thing to see people get taken advantage of in an in a untrue way, in an uh, illegitimate way. And Pastor Bobby Sheets from Riverside Community Church tells me his phone was flooded with messages from members of his congregation stating that they received text messages from an unknown number. These are people I was just with a couple of days ago, and I'm asking, hey, how's your family? How, how are, you know, I hope you're doing well, and I was just with them. Um, so, yeah, so I think the people caught on right away that uh, this doesn't sound like Bobby Sheets. Riverside Community Church immediately said that this texting scam was making the rounds with the senior pastor's name signed to it. Four $100 gift cards that they said they were going to give out to people in the community. Um, they wanted them to take pictures of the front and back of the gift cards and send those via text and that they would pay them back tomorrow. Associate pastor at Grace Lutheran Church, Amanda Dalson Monroe, tells me that this same scam was going around at Grace Lutheran. We've put up some extra security. We have our um, technical people on it and they're working on uh, trying to figure out how this how this came to be. Both Pastor Amanda and Pastor Bobby tell me that they would never send a text like this. They both are disappointed at the fact that people are trying to take advantage of others' compassion. People just be cautious um, in the electronic world. Just be, be careful with uh, what you read and what you open and what you respond to. Pastor Amanda tells me they did speak to local police about the scam and they believe that the scam could be from someone overseas. Eric?